Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today in our antique talk, we're going to do something that's asked of us all the time. And that is, what are the hottest antiques right now? What's selling? So today, we're going to do something special. We're going to rank them. We're going to rank the top five hottest antiques right now. And of course, we're talking about in our area. I mean, we're in Michigan, so it's not New York, it's not California. So this is our little Midwest area where we think are the hottest sellers right now, just based off of our experience and what we see. So uh, let's get started. Uh, today, number five is going to be vintage holiday decor. Now, mainly we're talking Christmas, Halloween, and you can sprinkle in a little Easter, Thanksgiving, but those Christmas and Halloween stuff, we sell them like crazy. Halloween stuff, you're looking at blow molds, uh, old Halloween costumes, uh, the paper displays, uh, the little decorations you put up on the wall. I mean, just anything old. Postcards are huge. Look up Halloween postcards. They are crazy expensive. Those things right now are so hot, we get them and they don't last at all. Even in June, April, we're selling Halloween. I mean, we sell it all the time. Christmas, I mean, we sell ceramic trees are huge. We sell so many ceramic trees. And you'll see when you come into the shop, we have a lot of ceramic trees. But also, too, same with that blow molds, even just ornaments, decorations. I mean, we have a, we have a whole booth dedicated just to Christmas. That's how good it sells. So, yeah, that is something that is fairly hot right now fairly and it's always consistent people always looking to decorate always looking to do something with the holiday stuff so so yeah that's that's number five today so let's go on and now we're gonna look at number four number four is cast iron now cast iron became super popular around the late 18th early 19th century because that's what people were finding out with the cook on over the fireplace so it is something that has lasted and they can last i mean we have a video coming up shortly about us reseasoning a bunch of cast iron and bringing it from just terrible crusty nasty and we brought it back to pretty much brand new off the shelf and i can't wait to show you guys that video but the cast iron is something that's really hot you know you're looking at your main brands or cast or i'm sorry griswold wagner those are your nice old brands that last and they are just and they from what i've heard and what i've experienced uh some of the best food comes off of cast iron. So that is something that's last. We have people that still come in and buy it and they don't buy it to go hang on the wall. They buy it because they need a new skillet or they need a new flat iron pan. I mean, they are awesome. They still use well and they are just a taste of food that you won't get from just your normal ceramic pan. So yeah, cast iron, number four on our list today. All right, now on to number three. Number three for us is Pyrex. Now, Pyrex, there is some crazy collectors out there. Um, there are so many different patterns from uh, colors to patterns to, oh, there's just, I am not an expert on Pyrex, but I, I know it when I see it. So uh, we've had people in our store before that have bought Pyrex from as cheap as $10 all the way up to $200. And I mean, I know some go for way more than that because some patterns are super rare and it is something that is very sought after. So. Uh, Pyrex is a super popular thing and like I said nowadays people buy it to collect it and uh, not even to use I mean we use it for I <laughs> I use it for baking I use it for storage I use it for everything but some collectors out there are not worried about spending a pretty penny on some Pyrex so please always look over your Pyrex before you do anything with it uh, I think they came around I think in 1915 I think is when Pyrex came about so it's been around a long time it's still here and that's the best sign of an antique something that lasts and these what that's what we love about this business is that it lasts There's, these things nowadays you just don't last you can throw it away it's a throwaway society and that's not how we are we will preserve and try to keep everything and Pyrex has helped out with that and like I said we'll show you some real nice pictures of some Pyrex and some of the prices they go for so uh, number two is advertising now advertising could be anything and I mean anything from signs to calendars to anything honestly uh, just old ads we've sold out of here I mean the ads from the 1960s to now totally different you see you know cigarette ads or uh, women ads that are just very you know very terrible towards women back in the day which is crazy to think of now but I mean you're looking at dog food signs we've sold you're looking at ice cream signs milk signs uh, I mean it goes on and on anything that is old advertising that is you know signage you know all that stuff don't throw away hold on to I mean there is a value out there for them and people will buy them I mean we've gotten stuff for free just stuff that was on the side of the road because people thought it was nothing and it turned out we had old ice cream signs that were selling for 7500 bucks and people were gonna throw them away 
I mean, any of that old advertising you just don't see nowadays. I mean, there's uh, so many things that were okay in the 40s, 30s, 60s, 70s, you know, that are just totally not okay now that um, people still collect. I mean, it's not, it's such a uh, wonderful pastime that people at least are starting to hold on to, which is great to see. So, and our number one hottest antique, and this is everywhere. I don't care if you're in New York, California, it is gas and oil memorabilia and I mean oil cans oil signs gas signs gas cans uh, anything uh, we, we were selling maps just regular 1950s USA maps with uh, uh, I'm sorry uh, Sinclair or uh, Marathon or Crystal Flash or anything on there and those things were selling like crazy gas and oil right now is so hot I mean we can't touch the stuff we have a little bit of gas and oil in the store because we can't buy it to resell it because it is going for so much. Everybody is purchasing it. So, I mean, if you have oil cans, gas cans, signs, all that stuff, please don't throw it away before you check on it. I mean, check and see if it's worth something. I mean, we've had stuff that we thought was worth nothing. Looked them up, two, three, four hundred dollars were selling it for on eBay. I mean, it is a market right now that cannot be touched. I mean, we have, I've not seen anything like it. I mean, we're stuff normally people won't touch for a hundred bucks they're overpaying for it and i mean we're at auctions and something's worth 300 people are paying four five hundred for it you know so obviously we can't touch it because people are just collecting it and it goes in the man cave it goes in the garage i mean it is stuff right now that is so sought after that it is very fun to be a part of but man i'd like to start touching some of that stuff because man i can't can't come across it so much so but yeah that's our top five today gas and oil is number one of course we have a few uh hard decisions to make on what we wanted to put in our top five so really all we want to do is want to know what you guys think what do you guys think is hot right now what do you guys see what is out there that you guys are noticing that is selling a little more I mean, there's more than our top five. That's just what we see. I mean, and that's a small opinion of what goes on. So we want to know what you guys see. So if you guys could give this video a thumbs up, comment below. Like I said, tell us what you guys think is you're in your top five or what are we missing from our top five? Let us know. I mean, that's why we're here. We love this debate. So, and like always, you know, if you guys could subscribe to the channel, that would help out as well. You know, see some more videos. I mean, our videos are coming up. We try to post at least a couple times a week if we can. So yeah, like I said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And like always, come on over and get your antique fix on M66. See you guys.